I will buy every single game that we've decided yes on. I will buy every single game, except if I don't have perms for that game. Kind of for obvious reasons. I'm not gonna spend $60 on a game if I can't even stream it on the channel. Cause like I said, I don't really have that much time to play video games on my free time. I will have a very long full list of all the games that we've decided on. And uh, when I get perms, I will purchase it. Let's start off with Dark Souls. I'm not even gonna like put this to a vote or anything. Cause I think I just definitely want to, oh, I want to play Dark Souls. I mean, it's, it's Dark Souls. I have yet to play a Dark Souls, but obviously I've beat Elden Ring and, oh, they, this is Dark Souls 3. I wanted Dark Souls 1 first. Okay, weird. Anyways, beautifully remastered a return to war drawn and stunning high definition detail running at 60 frames per second. That's better than any Nintendo Switch game, I would say. So uh, I say that's a add to cart. Here's our list so far. There's a couple of these that I might kind of fine tune a little bit and like uh, nuke, but it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, we have Borderlands 2. I've heard a lot about Borderlands, but I know nothing about the gameplay. It's a looter shooter. Ooh, I love looter shooters. They're so fun. I didn't know Borderlands looks like this. I thought it was a little bit more of like COD, like dark, dreary, dreary kind of 3D gra graphics. Holy hell, I'm having a stroke. Borderlands 2 is pure gaming joy. The art style is a visual treat. The humor is on point. The variety of weapons keeps you hooked. The co-op play is a blast. So it's not a, like an Overwatch 2 kind of thing. It's, it's just like a game that you can play co-op. Am I understanding that properly? Is it like a linear game? 2012, damn. When did Borderlands 1 come out? Oh, she got the honga badonkas. You see that woman over there? Oh my God. You know, it's like, it's $5 why not thank you for all your recommendations of laxative because we did buy a couple of the ones you recommended uh, guys what's in it for me content 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 chat chat i have gigantophobia which essentially means this game would literally make me poop myself i am absolutely terrified that scares me that image there scares me we have the sequels perms because i got them are you psychopath you goddamn psychopath wait but on the game form it says it's still pending scion <laughs> you can lie and say we were declined chat i'm gonna have to make a lot of money to <laughs> a lot of money in supas for me to play <laughs> oh my that's terrifying i think i would actually cry like very very genuinely the thing that sucks is it sounds like a game i would really enjoy but god damn it looks scary as hell hello raiders i looked over and i saw dragon attack and i was like ah <laughs> what i do hear me out raiders this is for you i have a, a massive fear of, I, of big things. So Subnautica is my biggest fear ever. However, Raiders, I will let you choose. Do I buy this game? Oh, uh, we're sitting at a 89% yes. But Chad, this game is gonna give me a heart attack. You don't understand. I was coerced into playing my first PC game by my son. Well, as a 45 year old man like myself, I'm convinced. <laughs> I don't want this one has been on my list for a long time. Or it's just game number one. I just want one game. I don't need all of them. Just one. You can't, lol. That's how you get, how they get you. Wait a second. Can you actually not buy the game individually? You're BSing me. I have to buy all of them? What if I don't want all of them? They are worth the price. I'm so glad they are, but maybe I don't want all three of them. Gotta buy them all. I don't want them all. What the hell? I've never seen anything that makes you, like forces you to buy all of them. Really? This game is harder than a Souls like? Oh, it is a Souls like. How have I not played this yet? Buy it! I'll buy the freaking Master Collection. Jesus Christ. Three is kind of bad, but one and two is our peak. And yet, I can't just pick individually. I have to buy all three of them. Hold on. I thought the trailer would convince. Okay. What's special about the trailer? <laughs> They slap this little, like, tag on everything. I have seen that before. Oh, there's Booba. Booba Lady. I looked up from my phone, and there's Booba Lady. A lot of these games were strategically chosen to be, like, a little bit shorter. Refined Self is a one-stream game. Ninja Gaiden? I think the length was, like, 15 hours, so this would be, like, two to three streams. Enter the Gungeon, that's kind of like, a uh, you play it when you want to stream. Day of the Diver, I've just been wanting to play for a while. Monster Hunter is a longer campaign. Code Vein is 20 hours. Not that bad. No Man's Sky on guard i don't know how long on guard is actually inscription is a shorter game it's like two streams subnautica is a one-off stream unless i am not terrified by the game so Meyer is only a couple hours these are most of these are like one-off kind of games if that makes sense chat my wall is crying a little bit but it's fine Special thank you to Made Live channel members Raziel Mutant, Delkes, Renolam, Lisu, Hatsby, Zarokesh, Blank, and Iki. 